Are you tired of your Spinosaurus looking small and puny? Would you rather your Spinosaurus look big and Jurassic Parkish like this? Then do I have an offer for you. Hello everyone, this is Saurian Target coming at you with a very quick and basic tutorial for how to mod the Carnivores games. I've received a lot of questions about how to add dinosaurs to the game or how to install full conversion mods to play, so I thought I would go ahead and cover these topics here. So today, we're going to learn the basics on how to skin your own animals or weapons, how to put them in the game and edit the game's RES file, and install big mods like Carnivores Reloaded or Carnivores Triassic to play. And if there's a specific tutorial that you're looking for, I've provided some timestamps in the description so you can pick and choose which one you want to watch. But before we start, please remember this important note. Always, always, always make a backup copy of your game's hunt dat folder first, especially if you don't own the CD version of the game like me. If you mess up or overwrite a file and you don't have a backup copy, it can be pretty difficult to get the original back. So always make a backup folder before you start modding. Now, without further ado, let's begin. So the first and arguably the most popular way to mod carnivores is by editing the skins of dinosaurs or weapons to make your own custom creations. Now, this guide won't make you a better artist. You'll have to make the artwork good on your own. This will just show you how to put your creations into the game. The first thing you're going to need is the car file editor, and I provided a link in the description for it if you don't already have it. Once you have the editor downloaded, open it and then you'll go to File, then Open, and find the car file of the animal or gun you want to edit. Dinosaur files are located right in the main HuntDat folder, and weapons are located in the Weapons folder. Pretty simple. Today, we're going to make a simple T-Rex reskin. So, I found my T-Rex car file and opened it up, and now we go to Texture and load the custom skin I've already made in Photoshop. And you'll want to make sure the skin is saved as a 24 or 32-bit BMP file. So now the new skin is loaded in, and from here you can check other things like the sounds if you want, but we're just going to focus on the skins for now. So make sure you hit Save, find the exact same file you want to save over, and there you go. You've just saved your own custom T-Rex. So now you've made your custom dinosaur, but how do you put it in the game? You'll need to edit the RES text to do that. The RES text is located in the main hunt dat folder, and it serves as kind of the brain of the Carnivore's game. So here's our custom T-Rex car file in the hunt dat folder. So now we go to the RES file and scroll all the way down to see where the T-Rex is located. So here we're going to change the file associated with the T-Rex AI to our own custom T-Rex file name. And you can do this with any new animal you want to make or with any animal you find and want to use. You just have to make sure that it is associated with the proper AI slot. Now there are a lot of other things that you can do in the RES text. You can change the size and weight of the dinosaurs, you can change their stats, their health, how many points you get for killing them, all sorts of stuff. And the same with the weapons. Now, please be very, very, very careful when editing the RES text. All it takes is a simple mistake like an extra space or a period, and the game will not be able to read the text and you won't be able to play the game, which is why you always make a backup folder before you start modding. So now we've saved our changes, let's go see how our T-Rex looks in the game. And there you go, that's our own custom T-Rex ready to play in Carnivores 2. And that's pretty much how you edit animals and weapons in the game. For areas, you simply drop the new MAP and RSC files into the areas folder. For menu pictures and text, go to the menus folder and then either in the text or pics folder. And that's pretty much it. All of the inner workings of the Carnivores games. Now, of course, there are obviously many more in-depth procedures you can take with experience but this is a very basic coverage of what you're able to do. Now let's take a look at installing the big, full-fledged mods like Carnivores Reloaded or Carnivores Triassic. The first thing you will need in order to install full-scale mods is some kind of extraction software. Many of the mods come compressed in zip files, so you'll need something like WinZip or the Unarchiver to extract the files when you download it. 
Now, once you have the mod downloaded and extracted, you'll want to put in the latest patches directly into the mods folder. I have provided a link to the patches in the description. If it's a Carnivores 2 mod, use the C2 patches. If it's an Ice Age mod, use the CIA patches. Just download the patches and drop them into the HuntDat folder and say yes to replacing the current files. These will help the game run better and look better. Now, most big mods run on their own engines, so you don't need Carnivores 2 or Ice Age in order to play them. And you can go ahead and create a desktop shortcut to the mod if you want. And it looks like we've got everything in place. So, we go to play the mod, and boom, the dreaded heap allocation error. This looks familiar, right? Well, don't worry, there's a simple fix for this. Just right-click on the icon, go to Properties, and then Compatibility, and set the compatibility to Windows 98 or something similar. Be sure to apply the changes, and bingo, we're in. And that's how you install bigger mods like Carnivore's Triassic. Now, don't forget, you can go into the Options menu to make the game look and sound better. We're all familiar with software mode and its horrible, screeching, nightmarish sounds, its pixelated, grainy appearance, and the lack of water when you turn on running mode. Well, to make sure your Carnivore's game looks all shiny and new, simply set the audio and video drivers to something other than software. I prefer 3DFX or D3D myself, and most of the mod's engines allow these to be used on any computer. If not, just install the latest patches and you should be set. So there you go guys, that's my quick and very basic tutorial on how to mod carnivores. These games are very modder friendly and the community has made some unbelievable strides in what can be done. From adding new animals and maps and weapons to new AI slots and even more. The work of the carnivores community is incredible and has been vital to the franchise's success thus far. Now if only we could mod this thing. And speaking of mods, the second release of my mod, Carnivore's Genesis, is now available for download. Thanks to everyone on all the feedback on the mod thus far. If you'd like to download the updated version, which I recommend, I provided a link in the description for you to do so. But anyway guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any more questions, I'll try my best to answer them, or you can head over to the Carnivore Saga forums, where you can explore and find all the answers and resources you've been looking for. Just be sure if you ask a question that you post it in the appropriate area. We're trying to keep things neat over there. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any feedback or questions, please let me know, and I will see you guys next time.